Hi guys, it's me Chazer HD and welcome to this quick review of qualifying for the 2019 Japanese Grand Prix before the race gets underway at Suzuka. Thankfully qualifying was able to get underway. The Typhoon did not hit Suzuka quite as bad as first feared. So thankfully qualifying and the race is going to be going ahead and qualifying of course did go ahead and this is what happened. So... Getting pole position, I believe, for the fifth time around Suzuka is Sebastian Vettel. Charles Leclerc finished in P2. P3, Valtteri Bottas. P4, Lewis Hamilton. Fifth, Max Verstappen. Sixth, Albon. Setting the exact same lap time in uh, qualifying. Then Carlos Sainz and Lando Norris on the fourth row. Gasly and Grosjean then P9 and P10. Knocked out in Q2 was Antonio Giovinazzi, Lance Stroll, Kimi Raikkonen, Daniel Kvyat and Nico Hülkenberg. And then knocked out in Q1. Ricardo, Perez, Russell, Magnussen and Kubica. Magnussen and Kubica, of course, had their crashes in qualifying. But now let's get into the teams and do a quick review of how they did. So first off, Mercedes. After practice, we were thinking that maybe Mercedes were going to get pole position. And in the early part of qualifying, it looked as though that could have been a possibility. But Ferrari finally turned their engine up and completely obliterated any hope of a Mercedes pole position. So, not the greatest qualifying result for them, but I think they can still take the fight to Ferrari, because we know they're going to have a better race pace, and if they can get one of the Ferraris at the start, who knows, they could probably go on to win the race. So, their qualifying result is not too bad, considering what could happen in the Grand Prix. Next up is Ferrari. Great result, perfect result, P1 and P2. Charles Leclerc, I think, did the best he could in qualifying, but Sebastian Vettel, you just have to say, was fantastic. Fantastic. This was the old Sebastian Vettel we saw in his Red Bull days when it came to this Grand Prix. Being so scintillating when it came to getting pole position. So great lap by Vettel, and hopefully he can convert that into a race victory because... In terms of his own status within Ferrari, he really does need to do that um, going into, of course, 2020. Next up is Red Bull. I think both drivers did the best they could. Uh, I don't think the Red Bull car was simply quick enough to compete with Valtteri Bottas or Lewis Hamilton. And you have to say, well done to Alex Albon. Not for out qualifying Max, but setting the exact same lap time. That is a great job especially when you consider how great Max Verstappen has been in 2019. So great by Albon. Hopefully in the race, he can keep that up. Now into the midfield. And first off, Renault. And their race is basically over. P15 and P16. That has to be the worst qualifying result they've had this season. Maybe Baku is similar, but what an awful result for Renault. And I don't see how Renault can come back and get a good you know, amount of points in the race. I just don't see how they can do that. So awful, awful qualifying for Renault. Great though for McLaren. P7 and P8, exactly what McLaren needed. Their car is clearly the best in the midfield. They're way ahead of the other midfield cars. They, they're in their own stratosphere, really. They're in between the top teams and the midfield. They're in F1.25, basically. Very quick, both drivers. The car looking great. And they are going to most likely be at the front of the midfield in the race. And if anything goes off ahead, they are in for a good result, I think, in the Japanese Grand Prix. Next up is Alfa Romeo. Alfa's pace was to be expected. I think you have to say coming into this weekend what they got, P11 and P13, that's about right for how we thought they would be. But I have to say... A big well done to Antonio Giovinazzi for out-qualifying Kimi Raikkonen. Not only out-qualifying Raikkonen, but out-qualifying Kimi Raikkonen at a track that Antonio has never raced around before. And Kimi, of course, has raced around here since 2001. So, great job by Antonio Giovinazzi. And you have to say, once again, as of late, he really is going under the radar and putting in some really good performances Hopefully, he can convert that into uh, maybe a points finish in the race. It is possible, especially with the Haas of Roman Grosjean only just ahead. And talking of Haas, 
Good qualifying for Roman Grosjean in P10. Roman, very good at Suzuka. It's not that big of a surprise. He's had a good result. Um, but Haas with Grosjean, definitely a good result. But for Kevin Magnussen, yeah, I, I, I just don't see what Kevin can do in the race because we know the Haas car in race pace is not good. And starting P19, I just don't see what Kevin can do. And I have to say, I don't get why he reversed into the wall so much. I know he was trying to maybe get going again but he has surely damaged his gearbox by going into the wall at the final corner that hard not good for kmac but for grosjean looking good next up toro rosso also a star performer is pierre gasly in the toro rosso p9 great performance by gasly i know i've criticized him a lot but i will give credit where credit is due and it is due right now Great result for him. Great driving. Out qualifying teammate Kvyat by quite a bit. So yeah, great drive there. And given how the Toro Rosso can be in the race, I think he can absolutely convert that into a points finish. And with Renault being way far down, this could be the chance for Toro Rosso to really now start catching Renault in the constructors. So hopefully Toro Rosso can get a points finish. And finally, in the midfielders racing point, Sergio Perez on screen, very poor, P17. I don't understand where his speed went. He just never looked comfortable in qualifying. But you have to say, great job by Lance Stroll, not just out qualifying Sergio Perez, but qualifying in P12. And you know what? That could be a very good position to start in, especially when you consider he can start on whatever tyre compound he wants to so look out for Lance Stroll on the race he could be very good and last of all is Williams not sure if Robert Kubica is going to make the race we'll see but Russell I have to say another great drive only half a second off getting into the second part of qualifying but that's it for the qualifying review and I'll see you guys very very soon for the race watch along